I've got a random thing to talk about today. Your posture. I think I have pretty decent posture when I stand, but when I'm sitting down, it gets pretty bad. I find myself sinking deeper and deeper into my chair and kind of slouching more and rounding my shoulders, and pretty soon I'm kind of like this. I know that's not great for me, and I've been looking for a way to correct that. Is that you too? Well, if it is, there is a company called Braceability, and they've got this little item out that might actually help us all with our posture. So let's check it out. Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness items, do a cost analysis of them, then give them my own rating to help you decide whether they are worth purchasing or not. I buy all my products with my own money, and if I don't, because I get them for free from the manufacturer, I'll always let you know at the beginning of the video. If you're like me and you spend a lot of time in front of your computers and you're sitting a lot, you might be slouching just like me. I know sometimes I slouch so far in my chair that when I finally realize where I am, I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I got this low. So I'm gonna put a camera up at my desk with me working on my computer and just kind of rig it up for like an hour and see what I do over time sitting down. I know it's not quite the fairest thing to do because I know camera's on me and maybe I'll think about my posture more, but let's go ahead and see what happens. You can see here, everything starts out great. My back is straight, I'm pretty comfortable. But over time, little by little, I do start slouching down more and more. And next thing you know, it's just not looking good. After noticing this for a while about myself, I wanted to do something about it. Over time, I think it actually leads to injury. When you put your shoulders forward all the time, you're typing like this, it's not really good in all the tendons up here. And it might be one of the reasons why I've had some shoulder surgeries in the past, who knows? The way I tried to resolve this was by buying a stand-up desk and it's helped me out a lot. Whenever I feel myself slouching, I just stand up and move my desk up. So that's one way to kind of cheat to fix it. But I still need to fix my posture when I'm sitting down. And here's an interesting fact. Did you know how many problems can be caused by bad posture? Here's just a few. Back and shoulder pain, low circulation, and it can compress your stomach and actually cause digestion problems. Who knew? It can also misalign your spine and actually compress your lungs so you don't breathe as well. It kind of makes sense because all your organs get smashed together when you're slouching. I had an old office mate of mine who had carpal tunnel and it was so bad that he was looking to get surgery on it. Well, luckily he went to a physical therapist instead of listening to the surgeon and what he found out was his hand position was just wrong on the computer. So once he got a stand-up desk and he could get taller and put his hands down, his carpal tunnel went away. So this guy was gonna get surgery and get scars in the middle of his hands. Instead, he fixed his posture and fixed his carpal tunnel. Now, what are the benefits of good posture? Well, according to Healthline, here's a few. Improved balance, less back pain, lower risk of injury, less fatigue, fewer headaches, improved breathing, better circulation. The difficult part is you don't watch yourself in real life. You don't set up cameras and watch yourself and say, ooh, look at me, I'm slouching there, or oh, that's a good posture right there. It just doesn't happen. In fact, unless we see ourselves on film and don't know somebody's filming us, we would never know what we look like standing up. Unfortunately, but maybe fortunately, our mothers aren't gonna be following us around telling us to push our shoulders back and watch our posture. And friends probably aren't gonna tell you if you have poor posture either, unless you ask them. I can't imagine a friend coming up to me or me going to a friend and saying, hey man, your posture is looking a little weak. You might wanna straighten your back a little bit. Now let's check out the brace that supposedly helps you with your posture. Although this brace is specifically designed for helping mend a broken clavicle. Then why did I use this one? A couple reasons actually because they have a posture corrector on their side as well, but this clavicle mender actually got better ratings than their posture corrector. According to the reviews, the posture corrector also has thinner padding and thinner straps and is not as comfortable as the one for your clavicle. Because I'm always curious about the companies that manufacture the products I show you, I'll go into a little history of where Braceability came from and how it was founded. Braceability was started back in 2011 by a company called MRN, which is a company that specialized in selling things online direct to consumers. In 2012, it brought in a guy named Sean Linderbaum to run the Braceability business. He had had previous success with a company called ClickStop, 
so he knew what he was doing with online retail. It turned out to be a great choice because Linderbaum grew the company by 500% just that year. At that time, MRN said, hmm, maybe we can sell this company to Sean and he'll just take it over and we'll go from there. So I'm not quite sure what kind of a partnership they formed if he bought the whole thing straight out from MRN or just bought most of the controlling assets. But whatever he did, he did a great job with the company. Their headquarters are in Cedar Falls, Iowa, and they produce a whole bunch of different kind of medical support devices for your arm, your neck, your feet, your knees, and your back. But before we go on, here's a very short segment of What's in the Box. Here's the part where I have to ask you to like my video because of course you know it's very important to me. So if you like this video so far, please do me a favor and gently tap that like button. As you know, it helps me out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate it. Now let's talk more about the product. When I opened the package, I was a little surprised. The product is super simple, but that actually made sense. Why does it have to be complicated and hard? I purchased both a medium and a large because I didn't know my exact size. I figured I'd purchase a medium because I wear a medium shirt, but soon recognized that the large size was for me. As you can see, the device consists of just a couple of straps and padding and Velcro fittings, but its simplicity has obviously been well thought out. There is a plastic triangular buckle on the back that's used for tension control and medical grade Velcro that's supposedly 10 times stronger than retail grade Velcro. If you look at the instructions, they are pretty simple, although they do ask that you get somebody to help you out to put it on. I think you would definitely need somebody else to help you out if you broke your clavicle. I can't imagine the pain you would go through trying to put this thing on. But if you're doing it on your own, all you need to do is put the left side strap through the left hand side of the plastic buckle and the right hand side through the right hand side of the buckle. When you put it on, make sure the pad on the back is positioned directly in the middle of your back with the plastic triangle buckle pointing down. To adjust the fit, pull to tighten or loosen. It felt weird when I first put it on and I have to admit it wasn't the easiest thing to do by myself. The large size was big enough, but it was definitely a struggle, especially since my left shoulder was still a bit tender from the Nick Bear workout program that I had finished up a few weeks back. The directions say to wear the brace for about 30 minutes to get used to it and do 30 minute increments and then build your way up to wearing it for three hours. I had this brace for about three days and I haven't worked my way up to 30 minutes yet. I started with 10 minutes and I've gotten up to about 15 minutes now. Here it is with it on. I know it's kind of kooky looking, probably don't want to wear it outside in public, going to a restaurant in this thing, but if you wear it around the house, you're fine. It does definitely pull my shoulders back as you can see here and definitely makes me stand upright. So it works. But one of the things I noticed was even though this is a large, I, you do have arteries right here that go under your armpit, and I think this is still a little bit too small for me. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I've been bulking up and not really realizing it, but uh, I did notice if I wore it for a long time, I'd get a little tingly in my fingers, and some of these circulation got cut off a little bit. So I'll have to get a bigger size to see what happens. A quick update to my tingly fingers and my numbness in my fingers. I found out what I was doing incorrectly. I had the brace positioned wrong. It was kind of up like this, and the square was lower on my back, so I just pulled it forward like that. It did loosen it up a lot. So this is large. I am five foot 10, 165, and this fits me fine now. Now I'm finding I can wear this for a lot longer, and I'm not feeling any tingliness. So that's what I found out. You do get used to it after a while and you get, do get used to kind of standing up and, and doing things and hey, and this kind of stuff after a while, but it is kind of funky at first. Here's some pictures of me doing stuff around the house and at my desk so you can kind of see what it looks like in action. And even when I take it off, there we go, that's not too hard. It's almost like my brain knows to push my shoulders back now. And I find myself doing this at my desk. When I start doing this, I'm like, whoop, like this. And it's just kind of gets imprinted in my memory to, oh, think about your shoulders and your 
body actually wants to push your shoulders back. So what are the pros and cons of this product? First, the pros. Even though it's made to heal a broken clavicle, I find it a good posture corrector too. It puts you in the correct posture when sitting and standing so you don't slouch. Even after you take it off, it does make you conscious of where your shoulders should be while sitting or standing. It's price friendly, made in the USA. You don't find many products like that anymore. Here's the cons. It takes a while to figure out just how tight or loose to wear it. Be careful about cutting off your circulation. It's easier to put on with two people instead of just by yourself, but most of us will probably have to learn to put it on by ourselves at some point. Hard to tighten or loosen as Velcro straps don't appear to have as much leeway as I thought they did. You'll see here that you can only adjust them so much. Now let's get to my own writing system, the three P's, which are comprised of price, performance, and staying power. First price, what's the cost of this product? Is it worth the money? With a price point of $24.99, it's hard to go wrong, especially if you have an Amazon Prime membership and you get free shipping. I did some research and there are some posture correctors out there for $19.99, but I also saw ones for $31.99. It's definitely at the lower end of the price spectrum. So for price, I'll give it an eight. Next is performance. How did this product perform? It did help my posture and even helped me think about it when I wasn't wearing the brace at all. Even though it was made to help mend a broken clavicle, it works as a posture corrector too. For performance, I'll give it an eight. Finally, staying power. Is this a one and done product never to be used again? Or will I use this in the future? I'm still getting used to it. I can see how it will help my posture in the future. I would like to try some other manufacturers' posture helpers in the future to see how they compare. I imagine I'll keep this around for a while and if I get enough views from this video, I'll go ahead and do a six month follow-up review. I always like to have the product for a while so I can actually do a fair review of it over a longer period of time. So for saying power, I'll give it a seven. So what's the final tally? Price, eight. Performance, eight. Staying power, seven. That comes to a final average score of 7.7. .7. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, do me a favor, hit that like button. And of course, subscribe if you want to and hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified of all my videos when they come out. They come out every Tuesday, by the way. And if you guys have ideas of reviews on products you want me to do, please put them down in the description below. And if enough people comment on the same product, I might even do a video about it. And of course, I'm on Instagram at KurtFitFi, where I post at least two times a week on other things fitness. I'll see you on the next one.